the cool down we've been wanting, especially still again with so many still without power around the metro. Got the natural AC going today after the cold front moved through yesterday evening. Clouds still holding steady over the metro area, so still overcast. So as expected, temperature hasn't budged much since this morning. We're still sitting at 68 degrees. Look at that dew point in the upper 50s with that north breeze bringing the cooler, drier air our way. You know, look at this temperature map. This is like the early mornings, last two weeks, upper 60s to around 70. It's 1215 in the afternoon. This time yesterday, we were in the 90s. Look at this. Love to see it. Temperatures 20 to 25 degrees cooler than this time yesterday, 27 degrees cooler in Lincoln. Lincoln yesterday hit 100 degrees. We hit 99. We're going to be out 20 degrees below that today. Wind still out of the north, though, not quite as strong as earlier. We had some of those gusts 20 to 30 miles per hour early this morning, but still going to keep the at least a light north breeze going, but expecting the clouds to part a little bit more, get a little bit more sunshine. So still should see temperatures mid to upper 70s for most of us. Again, well below average. Nice change of pace compared to the last couple of weeks. And then a uh, nice evening as we'll see those temperatures slide back into the 60s. So you can see all the little cloud cover across eastern Nebraska, southwest Iowa. A few showers out in southwest Nebraska that'll try and drift our way. So expecting those clouds to part a little bit more as the afternoon progresses. Again, mid to upper 70s, maybe have a few sprinkles out toward York, Lincoln. As we head into the evening, the majority of us are going to stay dry. Comfortable overnight, refreshing tomorrow morning, clear skies to start upper 50s to begin the day. We'll see maybe a few more midday clouds, though models trending more dry with the spotty activity during the middle of the day. There's still a slight chance late morning, early afternoon of a stray shower, but most of us during the day should be dry. Temperatures, though, going to tick up a little bit more low to mid 80s. This looks like our warmest day during the week and then a little better chance to see spotty showers, maybe a rumble thunder as we go through the overnight hours into early Thursday morning. But then another little reinforcing shot of cooler air on the way to finish the week. So we'll go impact icon Thursday with the rain chances overnight into the morning. But look at this top 10 day potential, maybe on Friday, Saturday. I mean, what a treat starting off the morning mid 50s and then if we stay in the 70s could very well be a top 10 day before we see those 80s return and a little more rain in the forecast by the end of the seven day.